Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Profit Data. So today, exactly, I'm gonna talk about how you can automate your trades in Zero Da utilizing encrypted token uh, that we can call as an API token, free of cost in Python. Okay. So first of all, you definitely have an account. Okay, for uh, Zero Da. Okay, so in Zero Da, what happens uh, to automate your trades? You need to pay at least two thousand rupees. Okay, and one more, I think, uh, publisher API key is there, which I think you can utilize for the semi-automated process. Process. So these are two things which have been already discussed. One is uh, your API key, which is of two thousand ping, and for the historical data, which is of two thousand. So around four thousand, you need to pay. to get the data and automate your trades even for the web socket data as well especially you can include in the interactive session with the help of 2000 rupees but here today i'm going to show you in this case what happens you no need to pay any charges okay with the help of just an encrypted token you will be able to access the data as well as automate your trades so i'm going to do it each and everything step by step Okay, so for that purpose, first of all, we will go with certain things. Uh, we will like you know uh, get the encrypted token. So what you can do, you just have to log in, and two methods which you can uh, like you know get your encrypted token, which I say is Control Shift I. Okay, so it will open uh, like you know in the background whatever the methods are followed as in console each and everything. Okay. so it will be available from that we can get the encrypted token now control shift i or one more method which you can do is like uh, you know you just right click and say inspect so from that also you can get so all you have to do is like from this case you have to uh, like what i say is you have to get it here in network uh, category okay network board okay so in this you will see like uh, some of the data sets especially like which have been utilized the api uh, which in the form of http request uh, for create dashboard and all of the watch list each and everything so it is it is uh, made of individual http request containing each and everything headers response okay so first of all you need to refresh to get uh, this kind of a data okay especially getting this uh, encrypted token okay so in this you can visit any of uh, specially like you know containing uh, kite.zerodot.com as an uh, this url okay so if you visit any of this market watch or auto sorry anything so suppose if i click on market watch so these are things will be available okay so you need to get in this uh, response headers and specially if you get in request headers you will get the encrypted tokens so you have to get it here okay so i've already done okay so i'll show you so if you get in with your request uh, request headers and your encrypted token which i must say it is a crucial one okay uh, it should be like you know it's a personal so whatever you are doing you have to do it uh, for yourself okay and try to Uh, like you know get in this uh, request uh, uh, from the request headers encrypted token okay so encrypted token equals in this you will get in cookie so encrypted token will be there enc token so whatever it is there after after equals like you know over each and everything okay and before semicolon try to copy each and everything not leaving a space not leaving each and everything just copy each and everything okay and save it in a text folder to token.txt so that's what you have to do okay so you need to visit your website you have to log in okay in any method and you just take it out this encrypted token okay and you can do it smoothly whichever you are looking for okay streaming data accessing historical data okay placing orders okay whichever you do it as an api method okay this all can be done and uh, two things which you need to follow first of all i think i've been already done a uh, videos for the api the same method you need to call in this so you can follow the zero the uh, kite docs 
Okay, so first of all, I just go with the kite dogs. Okay, so if you visit kite, kite connect three API documentation, so each and everything explained. Okay, so I'm gonna take that uh, URL base URL. I'm gonna utilize that URL. Okay, and I can do as per my requirements. So I think already. The wonderful part is already the documentation you have to run. So for the reference, you have to do the same. You have to follow the same, okay? And with the help of that, we can do, okay? So I think straight away, like you know, I jump and uh, try to get the LTP, okay? So these are uh, the documentation which is already done. So instead of codes, each and everything, first of all, the token is very much important. So I think I've been already told you that I've been. Uh, saved in my token.txt and that i'm gonna access in my python and i'm gonna like you know utilize this stuff okay so uh, token is done okay so suppose if i want to ltp okay i definitely require that ltp uh, url okay so that is very much important so from that in, i will do it easy for you so you can also understand and you can follow the documentation so I think that will be in a best manner, okay. And I'm gonna take it only one uh, this stuff, okay. And I'm gonna utilize for further these things, okay. Okay. And in this partially we will take it out for further utilization as well, okay. One more thing which we required a module, which is import request. Okay. So I must say that if you are not uh, having any kind of a basic knowledge. Uh, you can visit my YouTube channel, which is Profit Ada, okay, and you can get the basics right, okay, and after that you can follow this video. So if you want this uh, request, you just uh, type in CMD pip install request, okay, you will get this module. From this module, we will gonna do other stuff, okay. So first of all, we will read the Tevor token. So it is very much simple. You just have to say whatever your file name is there. You have to read that stuff, okay. It is the same method we will include uh, like you know API key and access token we are doing for the same okay. So we will get a token and we will get I need a URL you can say as a BS URL or you can say as an URL okay which is this. So this is my URL okay so I need to copy this stuff I will paste it here because I need to utilize for further stuff as well. Okay so this is my URL so I am done with these things and uh, what I have to do, I required a headers, okay. So if you are following request, it is a kind of a scrap method, okay, especially containing HTTP request. And if you scrap, you can include this HTTP request. And if you like, you know, give it authorization, you will be able to access any kind of a uh, data from any kind of a website, especially like, you know, whichever URL it is. So you have to give authorization. It is very much important that that contains in a flower bucket. And we will say as an authorization. Okay, authorization, we will put in this format so you don't have to mess anything and uh, encrypted token we have need, need to mention and our token whichever we followed. Okay, so these are the things which you need to do. So our encrypted token and in this case token will be there and we will close the flower bucket. Okay, so whatever you started you need to close. So token, URL, headers, we are good to go. Okay, so you have been uh, got the token and now I'm going to utilize in this URL. So from this documentation, you can take it any URLs and can perform the operations. So this is must. Now what I have to do from this settings, I can do whatever I want. I can fetch the margin, LTP, quote or placing orders I can do. So authorization is done. Okay. And it is smooth. So follow these things. So suppose if I'm getting LTP. Okay. So I have to give in this way. And you know request for request what you have to do request dot get okay so this is the basic method okay which you need to follow and uh, because I think I need to format some stuff I need to put it here each and everything so I, I will give it here as an URL okay and as an LTP each and everything is okay LTP question mark uh, NSC Infosys everything is good okay you don't need to change anything just keep it then and there and you have to mention headers is headers equals headers okay so you need to mention here okay 
and when we are getting this things i think you can mention as in text but i think we are doing in a json it will be like you know easy to get this data and to put it wherever we are looking for okay so we'll just say print ltp okay so we are forget to put an uh, format method okay which is f okay and i think everything is good so you should not miss any kind of a syntax error so that is also important okay so after this settings okay after getting the token each and everything it will be seamless okay so let's go for this things so we got the data from our uh, uh, url okay specially containing instrument token as well as last price so especially if i am looking for last price you know uh, you need to do exactly as it is okay so ltp uh, what i am looking for is the data which i need to like you know peers and then what happens i have to say exactly which it is uh, you know i am getting the data so you have to mention here you can automate this stuff as well for that you can follow my channel and after that what i am like like in looking for i am looking for in ltp okay each and everything as required okay so this is how to do and say suppose this is our price so you can match up and if i am looking for instrument token this will be the format okay okay so we got what we are looking for okay so thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe okay if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct by whatsapp thank you